as we learned in the last lecture in mongodb a user has role based access that means a user can perform only those tasks on the server which is assigned role allows him to do in mongodb roles are categorized into different groups based on their intended purpose and each role grants specific action or permission to users these categories help administrators assign roles efficiently based on the type of access or responsibility required by the user and we can categorize these role based access into these six types we have database user roles we have database administration roles cluster administration roles backup and restore roles super user roles and internal roles let's understand each of them one by one first of all we have database user roles these roles provide users with permission to interact with the data stored in a specific database for example we have this read role and it grants read only access to a database to a user so any user who has this read role he can only read data from a collection for example these are the two tasks which the user can perform he can query data from the collection or execute read commands by using find method then a user can also have read write role this role grants read and write access to a database when a user has this role he has all read privileges as well as he can also insert update and delete documents then there is another role called read any database and this role grants read only access to all databases these two roles it grants read access or read write access to a single database but read any database it will provide read access to all the databases in the mongodb server so any user who has this access can read data from all databases except local and config database then we have read write any database it is similar to read write role but this role provides read and write access to all the databases in the mongodb server so a user with this role can perform read write actions on any database in the server then we have db owner role and if a user has this role in that case he will have all read write privileges he can create and drop collections he can create and modify indexes and he can also manage roles for the database and finally we have db admin role this role allows a user to create and drop collections modify indexes and view database statistics another category is database administration roles these roles are for database administrators who manage collection indexes and other aspects of databases for example db admin role when a user has this role as we saw that user can create or drop collections manage indexes or view database statistics then we have db admin any database so when a user has this role he can perform all these actions on any database db admin can perform these actions on a single database but db admin any database any user who has this role can perform all these three actions on any database then we have user admin role any user who has this user admin role he can create update and delete users and he can also grant and revoke roles this role is for a specific database but then we also have user admin any database so if a user has this role he can perform all these actions on any database next category is cluster administration roles and these roles are designed for managing clusters including sharded clusters and replica sets so here we have these four roles cluster admin cluster manager cluster monitor and host manager so here you can read the description of these roles and what action these roles allows here we are not interested in this role because this is for cluster administration so you as a database developer will not have any of these roles next we have backup and restore roles so any user who has this backup role he can read data required for backups and access collections like local for replication basically any user who has this backup role he can grant permission to backup data from a mongodb instance and any user who has this restore role he can grant permission to restore data into a mongodb instance
So this role will allow a user to write data to collections and perform operations required for data restoration. Then we have super user role. Super user role provides unrestricted access to MongoDB resources. For example, any user who has this root role, it provides unrestricted access to the entire MongoDB instance. So all administrative user and data related actions can be performed by a user who has this role. And he can also manage roles, users and the server. Then this underscore underscore system role, it is used for internal use by the MongoDB server. And it provides full access to system level operations. Then we also have internal roles. And in this category, this underscore underscore system role falls. And just like how we saw in the previous slide, it is used by MongoDB internally for system operations and it provides system level access required for internal processes. Now, we as a database developer, we are mainly interested in database user roles and database administration roles. We are not going to learn about other roles like cluster administration role or super user role or internal role, etc. We are going to talk about database user roles and database administration roles. And apart from these six categories, we can also create a custom role in our database. And in this section, I'll also show you how we can create a custom role. Now, if you want to learn more about these roles, you can always visit the MongoDB documentation. So here I'm in MongoDB server documentation page. So here we have the manual and if I scroll down here, you will see this security section. If I expand this, let me actually click on this security. It will open this page where you can learn about authentication, authorization, TLS, SSL. And then you can also learn about some features which is available for enterprise only. And you can also learn about encryption. Now here, if I click on this link, role based access, here you can see what are the roles a user can have. Okay, so if I click on this built-in roles here, and if I scroll down, you will see these are the built-in roles. So for example, a user can have read role. In that case, these are the actions which that user can perform. Okay, he can perform the find operation. He can list all the collections. He can list all the indexes, etc. Then we have this read write role, which provides all the access which a read user will have plus these actions. Okay, then we have DB admin. So you can see what privileges this DB admin role will have. So if you want to learn more about these roles and what actions a user can perform with these roles, you can visit this documentation. All right, so enough of theory. From the next lecture, let's start learning how we can enable authentication in our MongoDB server and how to authenticate a user and then also how to create users and define roles for that user. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.